Hello everyone. Uh, in this movie, I'm going to discuss how to use DB function in Excel, which is basically used to find depreciation value using fixed declining balance method. That is what this DB represents declining balance. Now it has got five arguments. The very first argument is the cost, salaries value, life, period, and month. Cost is what you pay for some asset initially to purchase that. Salvage value is the value which we are supposed to get after the life of that particular asset. Life is how many years that particular product can be useful for the company or our organization. Period for which particular period we are going to find out the, find out the depreciation. Month uh, basically refers to from which month you are going to start your calculation. Okay, and the, or simply how many months are left in that year, the very first year. It is an optional argument. If you will not provide this argument, automatically it will, calc it will be assumed as 12 because a year has total 12 months. And let us say if you are going to put a value of 5, that simply means first 7 month has been ignored and the counting will start from the last 5 month that means of, uh, including August, August, September, October, November, December. These are the 5 months for which we are going to find out the depreciation for the very first period. Now what does it return? It simply returns depreciation in a given period and that simply means if you are going to put value 1 here that means you will get depreciation for the first year. If you put 2, you will get depreciation for the second year and so on. So let's take an example. In this particular way, problem, you are asked to find the depreciation for an asset with an initial cost of 100,000 rupees. And the method you have to use is fixed declining method and the service value after 5 years is 10,000. So that means we are assuming that the product, will, product has a useful life of 5 years. So I'm going to write down this value in a separate cell so that I can link them. Initial cost is 100,000. Service value is 10,000. Life is 5 years. And the function that I'm going to use is db function. Now, 0 year basically represents when you're going to purchase that. And the year hasn't started to begin yet. And that means depreciation is going to be 0. And asset value is exactly equal to the initial cost of the product. Now here I'm asking that what will be the value of depreciation for the very first month. So this is how you write that equal to DP tab press tab. Now the cost is this one and I'm going to fix this cell by pressing F4 comma salvage value this one c9 and press f4 again comma life is 5 year comma and period i'm going to find the depreciation value for the very first year so i'm going to link this with this cell and i will not fix this cell because i want to fill this formula all the way up to this point so i'm not going to fix this meanwhile we forgot to fix this cell. So I'll select this and press F4, period, comma. There is no mention of month in this particular problem and that simply means that uh, the calculation is going to begin from the very first month January and the default value will be 12 in a year. So either you can write 12 or even if you will not write 12, it will give you the same value. Okay. So after one year, the depreciation value for the very first year depreciation value is 36,900 and that is it this is what I was saying that even if you we'll write comma 12 it will give you the same value okay now initially the asset value was 100,000 rupees and after first year the value is going to depreciate the value of asset is going to be depreciated by this amount so the value remained of the the remaining value of the asset of first year will be equal to this much, which is actual value minus this one, which is this much, 63,100. I'm going to drag all the way up to this point. So in the very first year, value will be depreciated by 36. In the second year, the value will be depreciated by 23,000. 
In the third year, value will be depreciated by 14,000 and so on. I'm going to drag this value, drag this till this point. Okay. And if you look at this last value, after the five years, the value of the asset would remain 10,303 which is close to the service value which we talked about earlier. Okay. Now, let's look at this example. In this example, the values are same. But there are one additional information that the depreciation calculation start from June including June into year 1. So, initial cost is again going to be 100,000. Service value given is 10,000. Life is 5 year. And this time month is given as June and you have to include June. So, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. These are total 7 months. 7. And the function again I am going to use is DB function. Initially, depreciation is zero. Asset value is equal to this much. In the very first period, equal to DB cost plus set four, comma service value plus set four again. Life is five years plus set four, comma month is going to be seven plus set four. Okay. We forgot to mention period. Period is this month, this one, and this period is not going to be again fixed. Come on, month is this one, and this is going to be fixed. Take it close. Enter. And if you drag this down all the way up to this point, you can see in the very first day, uh, period. The depreciation is 21,000 and the second one it is going to increase 28,957 and that's simply because depreciation is only being calculated for the 7 month in the very first period and that is the reason why this is lower as compared to this one. And if you look carefully, you'll find that I am using the 6th year as well. In the problem it has been asked to find the value. It has been asked to find the depreciation for 5 years. The 6th value is there because the product has a life of 5 years and 5 years simply translates to 60 month. Now in the very first year I am only taking 7 month and in these 4 month, 4 year I am taking uh, 40 8 months into account. So 48 into 7, 48 plus 7 is equal to 55. And therefore the product still has a life of 5 months. And that is the reason I'll have to go into the 6th year as well. So that means this is the depreciation the 6th year for the very first 5 months. Okay. Now after the first year depreciation, the asset value will become 100,000 minus this value. Is 78,475. Drag this value all the way up to this one, and you can see after the five years, the value of the asset remains around 10,000, which is what it has been said in the problem. So, that is how you calculate depreciation using the declining basic facts method. And you can notice that whenever you have a month, you'll have to increase one year by this much. Now, just to give you a sense, let me quickly see how this is. This can be visualized on a scatter plot. Just have a look. Now, this is not a straight line. If you remember the last lecture in SLM, uh, when you use SLM method, you can get a straight line, but this is not a straight line. And you can see. The values are dropping very fastly initially and as it is going later in its life, you can see it become, it's becoming very flat. So that simply means in declining method, uh, sorry, uh, fixed declining balance method, the value of asset depreciate very quickly initially in its life and then as it progresses life towards its end, the depreciation becomes very low year by year. Now, 
remove this what will happen if I change this month to 12 you can see I'm getting error here the reason is the moment you make it 12 it simply means that now each year has 12 months even the very first month has first year has 12 months and that means it will not go to sixth year for depreciation or the depreciation will happen only in these five years that is what we mean by fixed declining balance method when we use this one it's a bit confusing initially but uh, if you are a student of statistics you will learn that later on okay thank you